Today we're going to look at how to uh, work with proportional data, yes no data, in uh, StatCrunch. So you'll see here I've got one variable set up with a bunch of yes no data, dichotomous data, um, and let's just say we have some numbers in this column. Just a few, it doesn't matter. If you go up and try and run statistics, like let's say you're thinking I want to uh, do a t-statistic on one sample with data, you'll notice that it doesn't even list variable 1 because variable 1 is not numer numerical data. It's not numbers, so you can't run a standard t-test on it. Uh, the same would happen if you tried to do z-statistics, right? Because again, it's looking for numerical data, data that are numbers, not data that are words. Uh, if you went up and tried to do summary statistics, again, it won't even list variable 1 because it's not numerical data. So when you start um, pulling your hair out because you can't run something on the variable you want to run it, that's because you're trying to run something that can't be run on that type of variable. So when we have uh, yes, no data, you'll notice proportional statistics. Right? We're dealing with proportions. We can no longer talk about the mean of our set because we don't have numbers, but we can talk about the proportion of our set that is yes or the proportion that is no. So we can run proportion statistics on one sample, again, with data. And now it will take both because it will treat numbers as letters, right? I mean, if we ran uh, it on variable 2, it would actually just see all of these things as different things. So like 5 and 5 would be the same. So that would have a count of 2. And these would all have a count of 1. So they all become items instead of actual numbers. Think of them as they would almost be like the uh, the jersey numbers on a team. And so the numbers no longer have a value. You're just looking at them as um, qualitative data, right, as descriptive data. But we want to do it on variable 1. And um, now we can run all sorts of stuff. We can do our hypothesis test. We can do uh, a confidence interval for the proportion, which is a pretty standard thing. So if we compute that, um, sorry, we got to um, tell it what a success is, right? So the success is yes. So it knows which thing to count as a success and which is a failure. So now, there you go. So 46%, right? 46 out of 100 said yes, because that's what we designated as a success. Here's our standard error. Here's our lower limit and our upper limit. So if we were doing a 95% confidence interval, interval, we could say that we're 95% confident that somewhere between 36% and roughly 55.7, almost 56%, somewhere in between there is the true proportion of our population that said yes to this question. Hope that helps.